Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we need to talk about graphing lines. Now, of course, anytime we start talking about graphing lines, we're going to talk about linear equations. Now, linear equations can take any number of forms. One of the most common forms of a linear equation is y equals mx plus b. That is the slope y-intercept form of a line. You also have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. That is point-slope form of a line. You also have AX plus BY equals C. Now, sometimes they put the C on the other side, but that would be considered standard form. Now, you must be able to work between all three of these types of equations. These three equations are going to represent all various lines. Now, let's take something like this. Uh, y equals 6X plus 2 in this case. Let's graph y equals 6x plus 2. To do that, I'm going to have a y-intercept of 1, 2, because this is in y equals mx plus b form. That's the slope. That's the y-intercept. Now, it's called a y-intercept because if this is the y-axis, this is the x-axis, it's going to go through the axis at this point at 2. Now the slope is 6. Now anytime we have a slope of 6, it's really a slope of 6 over 1. m equals 6 over 1. So up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 over 1. And so you'll notice I have to be very steep in this case because a slope of 6 is actually a very high slope. Now if I give a point like this, y minus 3 equals oh, I don't know, two-thirds, x minus uh, two, this would be in point-slope form. You can tell it's point-slope form because I can clearly pull a point out of here, two comma three, and a slope, two-thirds. And now to graph that, I say, well, what's the x part of the point? That's two, one, two. What's the y part of the point? One, two, three. So I have that point right there. From there, without even picking up my pen or pencil, I can go two-thirds. So I go one, two, one, two, three. And now I have two points. So that gives me one point and a slope to go from. Connect the dots, and now I have point-slope form of a line. Now, we, are, we also talked about standard form. Standard form is a little tougher because in standard form, You have something like this, 6x plus 4y equals 12. And in this case, 6x plus 4y equals 12. I don't know what my slope is. I don't know a point. I don't know an intercept. Don't know any of those things. So what I need to do is the only thing standard form is good for at this point is converting to one of these other forms. Easiest way in this case is probably to get y by itself. Now to get y by itself, I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides. So I have 4y equals negative 6x plus 12. Now, you'll notice I put the 6x in front of the 12 because y equals mx plus b. The m is in front. So now I divide both sides by 4, but make sure you divide everything. Don't just divide part of it. That's negative 3 halves x plus 3. And there we go. That is our now form. And from this point, I can now clearly see there's my slope. Here's my y-intercept, and I can graph them pretty clearly. One, two, three. Then negative three halves means I go down. One, two, three, one, two, and over two. And there's my slope. Negative slope up through three looks pretty good. Now, you could have also used a different type of graphing here. For standard form, a lot of times we'll use the intercepts method. It's not a form of a line, it's just a way of graphing lines. So 6x plus 4y equals 12, 
and it's going to be finding the intercept. So where does it cross here? Where does it cross here? It's going to be blank, comma, zero, and zero, comma, blank. Now, this means we're going to plug zero in for y, because that's the y part of the point, to find the x bit. So 6x plus 4 times 0 equals 12. That's gone. x equals 2. Over here, we have 6 times 0 plus 4 times y equals 12. Well, 6 times 0 is gone. Divide both sides by 4. y equals 3. And so I get this. At this point, I can graph 1, 2, or 1, 2, 3. There we go, and draw the line. You'll notice it should be the exact same line because I use standard form and the intercepts method to graph. So that's an introduction. We're going to talk about some specific methods here in just a minute.